Hi, I bought this Rimmel Lasting Primer, Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, Compact in in the shade Golden Tan. I bought these two on Smita Deepak's recommendation. This time, I made a smaller dent after the last flop incident <laughs> of buying something on Malvika Sitlani's recommendation. I bought this LA Girl Illuminating HD Pro Coverage Foundation. <laughs> in nude beige if you want to see my honest uh, review on that i'll link it somewhere here <laughs> after that i was cautious i bought these two on sale i got this on like 50% sale and i got this on like 20% sale so that in case if this experience also flops <laughs> i feel less bad i saw the ta deepak's um drugstore glowy tutorial since then i've been having my eye on it it went on sale so i got it now Uh, one thing i'm really liking about this primer is that it's like really glowy can you see that <laughs> the texture of this primer is like a lotion and this primer has like a slight pink tint to it you notice that a little on my forehead it's nothing overpowering but it's just that very light pink and as you blend it fades away i hope you guys can make out <laughs> okay i don't know <laughs> what i'm doing <laughs> has it filled in my pores not fully a little bit yes uh and it's very smoothing like i'm looking into the mirror and i have few clogged pores here guys and it's really like smoothened over those clogged pores so i like that and as i'm touching i can feel the texture of it is a little tacky and i love it i love it when primers have that slight tacky kind of a texture because once you apply foundation ouch <laughs> once you apply foundation <laughs> it just sticks you know uh so i like that through the power of editing i am back with foundation i have uh, worn this fs29 by krylon this foundation is not a smoothing foundation whatever is the texture of the layer underneath it that's exactly the texture this takes on plus i know this foundation inside and out you know i have used it in every climate in every film modeling every set that i've been on like you can see i've used it up almost would you be interested how makeup is done for tv and movies like or is that too boring for you mm, let me know let me know in the comments If you see any kind of smoothness or any kind of pore filling or any kind of glow, uh, it's not coming from this foundation. It's coming from the layer underneath it. It is moisturizing, yes. It is smoothing, yes. It is long lasting, yes. But and this is me being very very nitpicky. <laughs> I have a very small critic about the smoothing quality of this primer. It is not as smoothing as my L'Oreal Base Magique. Even the price range is very different. This is. half the price of that so i don't think it's fair to uh say this critic but just to be thorough the smoothness it provides decreases like after about 2 3 hours whatever texture you have like if you have a clogged pore okay you apply this and then you apply the foundation and you think the clogged pore is not visible it's smooth after about an hour or two the clogged pore will become slightly visible it will the texture won't be as much as it is otherwise if you don't use it but it will be 50% of whatever smoothness you see when you apply the foundation immediately like when you freshly apply it half of it will be gone after 2 hours that's about the smoothness uh do i think it's worth the price yes absolutely it's worth the price so yeah <laughs> let's see the powder texture 
around my mouth right now. Let's see if it catches on to it. And I'm applying this powder quite heavily actually for the color to show up. I mean, you can see that it's not altering the color of my base. Okay, let's see how it functions underneath the eyes. Not catching on to the fine lines. Yes, I like that. Okay, one thing I like about this powder is the lightweightness of it. It's very, very lightweight. In terms of matteness, you can see that it is mattifying, but not like flat matte. There is still a little bit of shine coming through, but not flat matte. I love that. Those are the powders that I feel are best for dry skin. I have dry skin. So I heard this amazing uh, thing about baked powders. This is a baked compact. Like you see how it's like this dome and it's hard pressed in pan. These products, they are actually in cream form. And they are like put into the oven and left for baking. That's why they are called baked compacts. So they bake and after a while, all the moisture in it from the cream evaporates. And what you have left is this uh, gorgeous looking baked powder. So these are actually creams. It's just that the... A creamy thing in it is evaporated so these are not baked powders are not supposed to be very oil absorbing for all my dry skin beauties out there this baked powders I think you should just check it out if you have problem with powders like in my case my under eyes you know as I'm getting older and older guys my under eyes keep getting drier and drier uh, so I just feel it's so much better if we just use powders or use products that suit our skin instead of really like you know applying this serum and applying that serum and then applying so many under eye creams so i rather just apply one serum before sleeping and just change the powder i use <laughs> the finishing it's smooth i love that it's uh very lightweight I love that. Uh, I used it underneath my eyes and it didn't crease. It didn't make my under eye feel any heavy or anything. It just felt okay. So overall, this powder, yay. And the shade, it doesn't really show up. Like, can you tell? It's not altered my base much. Um, there is a slight uh, yellowy, goldeny tint to the skin. But that is the color of my skin anyway. So if you're my complexion, even if you're like two shades fairer than me or two shades darker than me, this I think will still work for you because the color doesn't show up much. Can you see anything? That's how the color is. <laughs> Yellow undertones, then this will suit you. If you are pink undertones, then uh, I don't know if this will suit you. This is MAC NC42 and this is Golden Tan. Overall, I am happy with these two drugstore gems i think i can call them that i am so happy to see a indian girl completely in the makeup segment cross 1 million subscribers <laughs> love and power to you girl and these two yay this is ashwara from all things venus you do you